The Lagos State Head of Service, Olabode Agoro, has called on the country's youth to prepare for leadership challenges and contribute to the nation's development. Agoro made this appeal while speaking at the recommissioning of the Ishari Primary Health Center, an official launch of the Capstone Project for the Greater Health Project in Lagos. This initiative is pay-headed and funded by the fellows of the Latif Jakonde Leadership Academy. Now, the Lagos HOS commended the Academy's fellows for their contributions to societal development and urged other youths to follow their example. We're looking for youths to become part of the government. Right? Join the government. Because if you don't join the government, you won't have a say, so, so to say, in policies, in creating policies. So, Join the local government, join the state civil service, join the public service. Together, they are the future. So we need to look for people to hand over to. So we need the youth to join government, to join local, either local government or state government, or even federal government. We need them in the system so that they hand over. Our own time is coming, we have to hand over to somebody. So we need them in the system so that things like this can be, you know, promoted further. Now, the chairman of Ecosi Sheri Local Council Development Area, Samiat Bada, praised the Academy for its commendable program aimed at enhancing healthcare services for the local community. In his welcome address, the project's team lead, Michael Ogunkoya, expressed appreciation to Governor Sonwolu and his administration for providing a platform that enabled the team to showcase their hidden talents. And this particular NGO, they have really done well. Because I know how it was, you know, you everything at the time. We are busy doing a lot of projects outside there, Gangatic, uh, PAC, and we, um, with, with the hope we'll come back to them, you know, and do the needful. But they saw it from far, and they felt they could support, like, with the good governors, uh, what, what they met even at the position, and they did fantastic well. I must tell you, and say it loudly again, that we didn't contribute time into what they did. And but we, we you know, we stood by them during the what we are doing, they just, you know, uh, like our emotion and the thing, they will always be here with them. You know, they supported them, but for the financial aspect of it, they did fantastic well. And to God Almighty, Allah be the glory today. You can also see. In addition to renovating the health center, the fellows organized medical outreach programs and campaigns against domestic violence within the Kosi Sheri communities. Now, the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijoke Sonwolu, has urged parents to treat their sons with respect, prioritize their welfare and upbringing, and encourage them to find positive role models in society. The governor's wife said this at a recent workshop organized by the Lagos Boy Child Initiative. Love Ikuku Oyedokun tells us more. The 2024 annual Lagos Boy Child Initiative program was a three-day residential workshop attended by over 250 young boys from various public and private schools. Organized by the Lagos Boy Child Initiative, which is run by the Office of the First Lady of Lagos State, the workshop empowered the participants to become proactive leaders in their communities. Themed, Awakening the Boy Child Towards Becoming a Change Agent, the workshop featured a diverse array of facilitators from different fields who motivated the boys and gave them a head start in finding their career paths. You have to be determined, you know, always. Then dedication. You have to be dedicated, you know, in whatever you find yourself doing. You want to achieve a goal, you aspire to achieve a goal. Whatever it is, you have to be dedicated to it committed to it. If you intend to get into the music industry, I will tell you as a young boy, start to learn the story behind the scene, more than the drama that you see on the screen. Launched in October 2021, the program was initiated by Dr. Ibijuke Sawolu, the wife of the Lagos State Governor. She said the Lagos Boy Child Initiative 
aims to lead conversations about the welfare and interest of young boys. To raise awareness on the rights and welfare of the boy child. Boys have rights to, the children have rights out there. There's a lot of things that are happening in society. Sometimes they deprive the boys of doing certain things, they deprive the girls of doing certain things, but we want to correct that notion that they all have rights as children. The Lagos State First Lady urged parents to closely nurture their sons, helping them develop and showcase their talents. Bola Haoyishao, a member of the Lagos State House of Assembly, echoed the First Lady's sentiments. The future is bright for our boys out there. The future is great. And they are our greater tomorrow. They are our Jews of esteem value. So we need to invest in these boys so that we can have commissioners, ministers, governors, presidents that are sound. You need to teach them values. You need to mentor your children. Like somebody said in the, your immediate environment where the child is growing up is the mentor. You hear all of us saying, oh, my father said, my mother used to say, my uncle used to say. That is mentorship. So this is very, very important to parents. The three-day workshop left a lasting impact on the participating boys. They expressed gratitude to the Lagos State Governor's wife for launching the impactful program. Thank the, the Lagos State for giving boys the opportunity to witness this day. And I wish I wish I would like more I wish I would like more people to witness this day because this is the best experience I've ever had. On the final day of the workshop, trophies and medals we are awarded to winners of our football competition, capping off the program's activities. Love Uyiduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.